Hello everyone, welcome to Capture One in One Minute, where we explore one feature of Capture One to make your workflow better and easier. Today we are looking at how to set up a tethered shoot. All right, so we're actually gonna create the session for a tethered shoot, and we're going to look at creating the favorites folders. So we're gonna come over to Capture One, and we are going to create a new session. Now, of course, you can tether inside of your catalog. Of course you can, but many people are going to do their shots inside of sessions for a smaller individual tethered shoot. That makes a lot of sense for many people's workflows. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna create a new session and we're gonna call this test just because I think that that's going to work for us. And we can automatically have it uh, share with uh, live, which is a really nice new feature of Capture One, but we're not getting into that today. And of course we can decide uh, where we want this to live. I'm just gonna put it inside of my pictures folder, but you can choose anywhere that you like. As always, with a session, we can decide the name of the folders that we get. This is, by default, capture, selects, output, and trash. The idea being, we put everything as it's shot into capture, and then our favorites move to selects, we finish them and it goes to output, and things we don't like go to trash. I've got a series about sessions if you wanna know more about that. And I can name the actual uh, capture uh, session folder if I want to, but I'm just gonna leave it as test because that defaults to the same as the name up here. And I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. Now. As we know, I'm gonna to come to a new finder window and I'm gonna to come to my pictures folder. This has created a session folder with these particular places. But if I'm doing a tethered shoot, then that means all of my images are going to initially go straight into the captures folder. The problem with that is, what if I do four or five or six poses? Uh, that is going to be actually quite confusing to work with. So let's actually set up our tethered shoot. Now, by default, the tethered uh, tool tab usually comes right at the beginning, right over here. And I'm gonna move this so everyone can see. This is the tethered tool tab right there. And it is something that a lot of people take out of their uh, tool tab space, but if you're going to be tethering, it can be quite useful. So we have it here, and I'm going to go ahead and go full screen. And when we open up the tethered tool tab, we have a lot of different controls, different tools that we have. Most importantly, of course, is the camera tool, which allows us to manipulate the camera directly from the uh, tethered tool tab, which is great but we are looking at how to set up folders initially. So I'm going to close several of these and we're going to come to location. Now, here's what we want to do if we are doing a tethered shoot. We don't want to dump everything into our captures folder. Instead, we want to have things go into more organized spaces. So I'm going to come here to the arrows. I'm going to choose folder. Inside of here, I'm going to create a new folder and we're gonna call this pose one, create. Uh, but we can do a little bit more than this. If I come here, I see pose one, I can go to a new folder. Let's call that pose two, create. I'm gonna come back. You've gotta be careful where you place the folders, which is why I'm going back here. New folder, let's call this pose three. Now what has this done for us is created three folders that we care about. I'm gonna choose the first one and set it as a capture folder. Please note if I come to look at the session and I take a look at my capture folder right there, pose one, two, and three, appear as folders. We're gonna look at actually creating a template in our next video, but this is how you start setting up individual places for you to position your images as you shoot while tethered. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you next time.